Now, if God's going to chase me or if God's going to chase you, God will chasten us, He'll take care of it, and He'll strengthen us in the process. I don't believe there's any Christian tonight that's ready to do anything great for God that hasn't gone through the furnace. Until you've gone into the furnace like the Hebrew boys and until you face the breath of a lion, until you like Paul have been stoned at Lister and dragged outside of the city as dead, you are not going to really be ready to do anything great for God. Now, like Paul... They may stone you for dead at Lister, but if it's not your time to go, like Paul, God will bring you back, honey. They can do all they want to. They can rise up against you in fury. They can bellow and they can spew, but no trouble can touch the child of God and destroy him unless the child of God destroys himself within the process of that trouble. No man can destroy you. This is why it says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, Satan is as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. Now notice it does not say that Satan walks into the sheepfold to devour the sheep because he can't get into the sheepfold because Jesus is the door. And in order to get into the sheepfold, he's got to go through the door, and the devil can't get through the door. So all he can do is ramble around outside the sheepfold as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Oh, listen, friend, let the devil get outside of the sheepfold and roar through the night hour after hour. But I want to tell you one thing. The glory of God, the power of God, the wisdom of God, the strength of God will be with us. If we'll stick with him, he cannot get to us as long as we're walking with God.